The updates on the murder of Ako Bicol Party List Representative Rodel Bato Kabe. Authorities claim there is a chance that communist rebel groups are involved in his murder. But the National Democratic Front was quick to deny the allegation. Jenny Dawn with the story. The Philippine National Police are now looking at two possible motives in the killing of Ako Bicol Party List Representative Rodel Bato Kabe. It was PNP Chief Oscar Albayaldi himself who disclosed that aside from politics, the assassination may have something to do with the new People's Army. We are not discounting the possibilities dito. Hindi, hindi tayo nakatutok lang sa political moti, mo, motive ito, pati dito nakatutok tayo. The National Democratic Front of the Philippines has already dismissed the allegation, saying they have always been the subject of blame for incidents like this. The NDFP says it's authorities that are lacking capacity to put the real suspects behind bars. The PNP says, however, that it's still possible that the order to kill Batukabe did not come directly from the NPA. Pwedeng hindi sanction nila yon, pero yung tao are the ones involved, the same people. Nakuha niyo yun? Pwedeng dun, dun din tao din nila, pero iba ang trabaho. Parang pulis. Police siya ng umaga pero nagmumunlight pala siya ng gabi. PNP Chief Albayalde Minuel said the investigators are having a hard time gathering evidence and information. And apparently parang yung mga kababayan natin ay natatakot na naman. So we are wondering why sa sobrang dami ng tao doon sa lugar na yon, not even one is willing to talk. As of now, there are six persons of interest linked to the Batukabi murder. The police are also looking into the alleged involvement of a mayor in the incident. But for the meantime, they have yet to establish evidence on it. We are not discounting the fact, the possibility na pwede rin siyang malink. So hindi naman nating sinasabing that he is totally off the hook already. Authorities assured the victims' families that they are doing everything they can to resolve what's considered the latest case in the series of public officials killed under the current administration. President Rodrigo Duterte, meanwhile, is expected to visit the wake of Congressman Batukabe today. For News 5, I am Jenny Dongon. We are One News. A representative of the Ako Bicol Partilis is now calling on some politicians in Albay province to disarm their bodyguards. Congressman Alfredo Garbin Jr. says certain Albay politicians have private armies, particularly in Daraga, where slain Congressman Rodel Batokabe was supposed to run for mayor next year. Garbin stressed that the National Police should recall the firearm permits issued to private bodyguards to ensure a fair probe into the killing of Batokabe and his security aid.